idea of teaching atomic theory to young children come from? From my son, actually. Um, I was a retired chemistry teacher at the time, and Tom reached the age, ripe age of about eight years old, and he started asking some chemical questions. So I was the perfect person to give him some chemical answers, and he was able to get it straight away. There was um, a, a, quite a really thorough comprehension of the answers, and, and of the, he had a great ability to understand high school chemistry at age eight. So this kind of surprised me. I went to his school and found that his peers could also understand chemistry at a high school level. So I thought this is a bit weird really and um, surprising because it means that we're underestimating primary school students. They, can, they are capable of much higher levels of understanding than we are giving them credit for. It's developed from there. I went into school, started teaching um, high school chemistry there, atomic theory. Everything is made out of atoms. You're actually right. Everything in the world is made out of atoms and developed uh, resources that were adapted to primary school kids um, and also primary school classrooms because they don't have wonderful laboratories like this. So we needed experiments that could be done in very simple conditions. Also we needed materials that primary school teachers could engage with because they, they have proven themselves to be wonderful at teaching atomic theory. I can Jules. see definitely the children are ready. I was worried that the abstract ideas might kind of go over their head a little bit but the way it's explained in a very simple way um, using concrete resources and the microscopes has really helped them to understand. I think, I think they are ready. Oh. Because I'm a high school teacher, I don't have all of the pedagogical skills for communicating with the primary school kids that they have. So it's a wonderful combination to, for a, a primary school teacher to upgrade their understanding in this area and teach this brilliant stuff that will enable their students to go on to much greater success in future science education. Atoms are really, really, really super duper little little things in the even in tables and everything. What about in my hair? Yeah, smaller um, about... than the edge. Yeah. What about my glasses? Everything is this world. There are and were a lot of sceptics, um, which is why we got the University of Southern Queensland involved to research the program so that we had empirical evidence that kids understood atomic theory at primary school level. So we established that um, as a matter of fact rather than as a matter of opinion. Are you an element? No. no. How come? Because there's more than one atom. So this provides, um, this is attempting to open the gates to allow, um, give permission to teachers and to schools and to parents to let their students understand this and learn about this, which they absolutely are craving to learn about and understand. The, the, the curiosity of students in this area is just amazing. The initial session that we had on Monday was really, really interesting to watch because Ian started really, really slowly um, and he walked them very, very gently through. So by the end of the first 10 minutes, he got to the point where he was explaining to them if they really wanted to see one atom in an apple, they would, the apple would need to be the size of the earth. And that blew their minds, so he had them hooked right from the start. So it was very, very hands-on, it was very, very engaging, and they learned masses. They were so thirsty for that knowledge as well. So for lots of them it was completely new learning, which is so rare in their learning journey. We're usually building on things they already know. So they're really hungry. They left the session just absolutely pumped. Yeah, what did you find a bit tricky? They're making a table on there. Making the table. There were lots of steps, weren't there, to cutting and colouring different parts. What would you change about today's lesson? Make it even better? Get off the 100 and uh, 18 uh, elements 
and actually uh, find the atoms in them. So to actually see the atoms, do you remember the name of the microscope we would need? Electron, Electron microscope. microscope. So we've been withholding it from them until high school and there's no need. We've got this opportunity to go in and um, allow students to explore this wonderful area of science. In fact, it's not just wonderful, it's the foundation of science. It's interesting what we introduce them to this concept in the sense that it's something they want to know. You talk to them about, uh, oh, we're going to do molecular science, and you think, they're like, oh, what do you mean by that? Let's do, oh, oh, it's going to be the periodic table. And you're like, oh, okay, and their, their interest sparks. Then you start talking to them about these different elements, and you talk to them about weight. And, and they're getting all this knowledge. Now, I envisage that it moves on to this within the curriculum in the sense that we link it back to some sort of skill of investigation. So when we move into things like uh, reversible and irreversible changes where chemical reactions are coming involved, they'll be able to see that, for example, when they're combining uh, wood and oxygen to make fire, Fire isn't actually an atom, but actually then they get some byproducts from that chemical reaction that are irreversible. And fingers crossed, it would then help them to understand the science behind the reactions that they are looking at. If you could change anything about the lesson to make it even better, what would you like to change? Try to communicate more because it was hard to talk with my partner at the same time as putting it together because what if she already did it? Then it gets like really confusing. So having more time to practice. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we could make more combinations of different atoms. Fantastic. Atomic theory is the platform on which all of the other sciences are based. So if they get a good grounding in this, a good foundation, they will succeed and understand in all of the um, you know, sort of later and future science education that they'll take on.